God. There's a lot of questions that I have about the past. And I don't want to hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever going to ask. Tell me what's real. Tell me what's fake. Why is everything about you a debate? Are you guys some firings that are different things that we found out? guys welcome back to another video if you're new to the channel we post vlogs diy challenges we talk about um very controversial topics and my name is crystal and this is my lovely fiance bill hi <laughs> and we're just gonna get into some stuff and you guys know whenever we're in the room we tend to talk about uh, some intimate topics so whenever you see that background in the video just know we're gonna get into some things and personal disclaimer for the video no matter what anyone believes in in this video or however you are just know that these are personal opinions and we don't project any of our personal opinions on anyone else we don't want you to feel like you need to do what we do okay be you sure i agree all right so first um i'm gonna play a song that really push us to do this video it's like a, a song that provokes thoughts and this is what it did it provoked some thoughts in me and wait before we get started pause the video go comment down below who you think the non-believer is and who you think the believer is you and your beard <laughs> so pause the video guys go comment and then come and start it again all right so to get started so I'm gonna play a song and then we're gonna go off and get into the video. Dear God, there's a lot of questions that I have about the past. And I don't wanna hear it from a human. You made it, so you're the last person that I'm ever gonna ask. Tell me what's real, tell me what's fake. Why is everything about you with the pain? Every time I showed it, I was broken in this force, we just don't only wanna hate. Why is it only one you but multiple religions? Why does every conversation end in a division? Why does everybody like wanna tell us how to live really with them the same damn message? The uh, song has actually deep me think, uh, meaning. <clears throat> Alright guys, so I just wanted you guys to hear the song. That's a song by Dax. It's called Dear God. I'm going to put the link in the description in below so you guys can go and check it out. For that part of the video, I'll definitely shot the video like right down here so you guys could see like a glimpse of it. So that's really what... Um, brought about this discussion because it's not something we ever thought of discussing and like putting out there so let's get started bill as you all know bill and i are in an interracial relationship we're also really <laughs> oh really you're what? black shut when up when are you gonna tell me this <laughs> shut up <laughs> So we're also in an interreligion relationship. I wouldn't even call it that, uh, cause he, the, babe, tell them about you. Like, what did you grow up believing or not? Believing? Okay, I grew up believing. Uh, well, I can't really say it's believing anything, but it's more of a. I know that there's a higher purpose. It's just. Um, I don't know. The household I grew up in, we weren't strong on religion or anything. Now, some of my family is, and most of them are Catholic. So, it's uh, it's it's like a mix. It's like, I, whenever I go to my cousin's house and all that, it's like, my uncle, he's like, real religious and all that. So, it'd be all that. But my grandparents and my mom, they're not really religious. Well, my grandma tries to act religious, but she's not. <laughs> she's... All right. And from my household, I grew up in a <clears throat> Christian household. My grandma, I live with my dad for most of my life. And uh, my grandma was like, she's a Christian. She sang on the choir and she did all that. So we're going to get into some stuff. So I baptized like three years ago. I'm not going to, please guys, don't, for when we start this topic, don't call me and be like, Crystal, you're not a true believer. Um, I believe in God, but I don't believe in all the concepts in the Bible. I don't believe everything that the Bible says. And you're going to ask, how can you be a Christian and not believe that? That's why I want you guys to go listen to that song because he spoke about some stuff in that song that that's just how I feel in my lifetime. So we're going to start off on this thing, how, why I feel the way I feel. So 
religion was given to me by my family. Every ch everybody in Jamaica is just Christian and it's just more Christians than anything. So when I was younger, I had a stepmom, like she taught me how to read a lot of stuff. And one day I was like maybe nine and I said to her, then how do you believe in God and you've never seen him? If Jesus, if God made Jesus, it's his son. And then who makes God? And then who made the person that made God? And I just had so much question and she couldn't answer it. And I just, it was weird for me because at the time I was like, my stepmom's so smart. She, she taught me how to read. She know everything. Why can't she tell me who made God? And then from that very moment, like. God's always been. That's what I'm saying. Do you believe in the Big Bang? Like the earth something, was just created with. I believe, I believe the Big Bang, but something had to cause it. Yeah, so that's just why <laughs> just because I believe in the Bible, but there's some stuff in the Bible. Like she would, t what her answer to me was, "Don't question God," and that's why she um, people don't really do their research or like wonder where he came from. But here's that's the just thing. my question. Here's the thing, God. If if you believe in God, then you know God gave you free will, and the free will is to question everything. You don't second guess if. If you didn't have free will, then God would be there just controlling you. That's not what God is intended for. A right. lot of people believe God was is uh, created by uh, man to like help or to control people, like the Catholic Church and the and back way back then when they actually executed people for not believing. Right. So that's just a little backstory of why we are sitting here today. Like his background, my background, and why my foot is one foot in, one foot out. But the main topic today is, can a believer and a non-believer get married? Can Bill and I make it yes. work? <laughs> and yes, <clears throat> it, it's been working for us. As Bill said, we're not projecting our views on anyone. And when we have kids, our kids will have the freedom we're, of choice. We don't jump to the topic of point yet. <laughs> so that's one thing people always ask. Crystal, how, when you and Bill have kids, what is your kids going to believe? And as Bill says, when we have kids, our kids won't jump. They could choose whatever they want to believe. We're not going to push anything on Yeah, them. I'm not going to push anything on my kid. Although I'm a Christian, my kid should have a free will and they could question what they want to question. And yeah, let's, um, that's just it. I, Our kids will have free will to believe. We Bill won't project his belief on my our kid and I won't project mine. So move on. People are going to ask especially the christian side they believe in um people like to talk about being unequally and yoked there's yeah do you know what that term means um uh it means don't like, be reading <laughs> <laughs> you told you told me it's about like uh the yoke that um they use for like oxen and like horses and all that when they pull like buggies yeah so it's like, like they would put a wood a like, yoke is like a wooden thing they put on an ox and they use it to bring the weight so what would happen is unequally yoked they would put like a small ox or maybe a taller ox with a short ox and they would be like it's unequally yoked the weight is on one person so god like the the, the philosophers and all those people who write wrote the bible they like to like use iron and use a lot of stuff when they're talking so they use a reference unequally yoked couples and i'm a, i'm not gonna say i don't believe in that i do but i believe in everything we're not gonna be equals because look at <clears throat> bill's fist he is very strong and sometimes i'm cooking or i need to move the couch i call him babe can you move the bed for me can you do that and he'll be like babe where did you put the seasoning that 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 like we need each other we will never be e we will be equals that's, yes that to a seasoning sense. always stays moving <laughs> she added in one cupboard the one day and i opened it up to look for some seasoning there's glasses in there i'm like okay <laughs> anyways guys so what we're saying is you could be equally yoked in other parts of your of your relationship on a religious level you could believe that there is a higher purpose but as long as believe in something because i strongly believe like if you don't believe in nothing you're gonna fall for anything and that's like a, a thought that i always use but be be who you want to be and in our relationship 
I I don't believe we're unequal here because first Corinthians in the Bible it says the unequal couple let me see I don't want to quote wrong it says do not be yoked together with unbelievers for what fellowship can, um, can light ha and uh, darkness have what do you think about that it's hoo-ha because <laughs> There you go. There's your white term of the day. Hoo-ha. That's a nice way of saying bullshit for all you people who don't want to cuss. <laughs> and <laughs> I'm going to use another part because people like to pick and choose what part of the Bible they want to believe in. So I'm going to use another um, part of the Bible. In 2 Corinthians 7 verse 14. Why are you yawning, babe? That was... <laughs> <laughs> like, it's giving you all this tiredness it also says for the unbelieving husband has been sanctified through his wife and on the unbelieving wife has been sanctified through her husband so if you're a Christian and you with another person in another religion <coughs> or a non-believer why do you pick which part of the Bible you want to believe in and quote if I'm wrong I want us to have this discussion go in the comments and don't be afraid to leave your feedback like we want to we want to be relaxed in bed and read it but I strongly and on believe the, on like, another note with all that we're not trying to start a fight in religion especially on the internet so we're not we're just using just keep that in mind it, you can have your opinions we'll respect your opinion but just keep I, yeah it, I want to see others mind. um comments i want to read it and we want to share our ideas like that's bill and our relationship we're constantly bouncing ideas off each other we're constantly talking about stuff and yeah so don't pick and choose what part of the bible you want to believe in because the bible also says you if you're if you're not like equally yoke that 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 but it also goes back to say if you're unequally yoke then both persons are good because if one person believe then the other person is like righteous and that's let's get into that um that brings us to our third point we talk about being unequally yoked we talk about how our children are gonna grow up because that's not something that come up a lot in on in relationship with none like people of different religions so now we're gonna talk about tithe tithing babe you had a big thing on this about people giving money to the church and how you feel about it I don't feel you should line the pockets of people at the church you're if you want to give your money to help someone you should give your money to help someone not give your money to a church who's sitting there just reading off a script that's all they're doing they're reading off a script and sometimes I believe that the people in the church, the pastors and all that, are probably non-believers themselves. They just find an easy way to be tax-free and make a and be have a very rich, lavish lifestyle living off of people giving money to the church. I could see that because when I was growing up, I would see like. My not my family like well my mom is one of those people he gives a lot of money to the church and she'll my mom will take my mom will not have food in the fridge and she'll send money to the pastor to get um the church and the pastor probably drive a Range Rover his wife drive a Tesla they even had that on, on <laughs> his on kids the news drive sometimes. a Lamborghini on the news there's like these big mansions bigger than some movie stars and who lived there it was a pastor yeah like. I'm a Christian, but that's the reason I say, guys, you have free will to pick and choose what makes sense to you. And I'm going to tell you why I used to give money to the church. I used to pay my tithe, especially when I got baptized. But three semesters ago, babe, I did um, a course. It's a mythology course. And I learned about this guy. Have you ever heard of Martin Luther? Okay. No, <laughs> he got his name from him, but it's not Martin Luther King. All right, so there, guys, there's a theologist, Martin Luther. He existed like in the 1500, and he wrote. He started the Reformation. Some people like to debate on whether he he, he coincidentally started it or he meant to start it. But anyways, he started the Reformation where he wrote. Why is there a fly, babe? 
where he wrote the 95 thesis and the thing with martin he um i think he was from germany and he didn't believe in the sale of indulgences so in the catholic church back that in that time people were selling indulgences so what that is babe is like you would take your pay bring it to somebody like a priest or something in the catholic church and you'd pay them and they would give you a piece of paper to say all your sins are forgiven and that's the reason I don't believe that, in size. That was also that's also like um, I'm up. I'm from Pennsylvania, and there's this urban legend in Pennsylvania that makes me not want to trust the pastors or the priest or anything because this urban legend sounds so like bizarre, but it sounds like it really could happen. Aside from the end of it, there was a monk at a monastery that just uh he would let people confess their sins to him in a confession Mm -hmm. and then later on because he liked silver and gold so much later on he would blackmail these people with their sins i see that's it i don't even believe in confessing to someone like why can i talk to god myself i don't mean to call you (laughs) and like he would later he would later uh you know he would let them confess their sins but then later on blackmail them and encourage them to keep committing their sins so they could keep giving him money and the missionary and the mission found out about this and they hung him for it but they said like here's where the urban legend gets a little strange whenever he died they say his body shape-shifted into like his hair got long and greasy and tusks came out of his nose and canines from his feet and his toe or canines from his mouth and his toes grew into like claws sounds instead. like a fairy tale it does <laughs> like but, I, mean, I made up story that, that's what urban legends are babe mm. so yeah as i was saying with martin the reason i don't believe in ties is because of that so i feel like there should be another reformation because i feel like now people are giving their hard-earned money to the church and these pastors and all these people, high officials, are using the money in the wrong way. They're not using it to help the sick and the poor. You're gonna sneeze. I see it. <laughs> you try to hold it back, and okay, then, that's good. and <laughs> then, yeah. So that's what happened with Martin. That, and that's the reason I don't believe. Like, when Martin wrote the 95 Thesis, and he was like against the sale of indulgences. That's how all these other religions started, and that brings us back to our kids because after martin did that and the old reformation started the anabaptists the Methodists, the catholic all these other well the catholic was there but all these other religions started and i know one thing with the anabaptists people can pick and choose from where they want to be what they want to believe in is that they don't believe in baptizing kids until they're old enough to make their own choices and like confess their sin or whatever we're told that uh, Catholic and Christian is always there. It's the same thing. It's just name different. Okay. All religions across the across the world are are pretty much the same. There is one God in there, but a lot of religions have multiple gods for different things. There is one God that rules them all. That would be what Christians call God. And all the other gods be like the god of the sun, god of the earth, and all this. And that's how a lot of religions are. But if you look at it, they're all the same. They might call them different names, but... I don't know if I agree with you on that, nope. but... <laughs> I don't know. I mean, that's your belief. You don't have to agree, but if you look at it, it is all the same. I'm, I, I do I do believe instead that, of, like, because of, like, of, the core and all of that, when you look at it with Christianity, there is... So, so much similar stories intertwined in there but that's why I say we all have our own belief everybody believe their religion is the one through God and I'm gonna put a screenshot right here and so I did this because I know it's gonna Bill and I we knew we were gonna do this video today so I went, we went on Instagram and we did a poll yesterday to see what people would say and it was like there for the earlier in the day like around 50 people voted no, a Christian and an um, a atheist can't be together. Then at the end of the day, it was, it, it was like intertwined. It was fluctuating up and down, up and down. Like 50%, 60%. And then the last um, poll we got, the votes were in. 
it was final. Most people believe that a Christian and um, a and an, a person, a non-believer, shouldn't. I don't know if I should call you an atheist because I don't believe you fit the description of an atheist. Atheist doesn't believe in anything, so yeah. no, I don't fit that description. <laughs> I say a non-believer, so <clears throat> yeah. But for the most part, I think. What do you think about us? Do you think we have been working and? Um, well, religion really isn't a topic in our household. I mean, uh, I play gospel music. Do you have a problem does, when I play it? Doesn't matter. It's your. And it's what you, you go do. to church with me. How did you feel when you went to church with me? I'm tired. It took too long. When? When we're in Jamaica, that's a funeral. That's different. No, no. That, when we went to the general, took, in that the funeral did take too long, but that wasn't it. Where the one we went to the other day? Yeah, it was a no. concert. It wasn't even church. I like that church. I think people should be able to go to church and not be. I remember growing up, guys. I one thing I love about America is their laws about discrimination. You cannot discriminate against someone for their race, religion, sex, or anything when i was going to high school i remember like we i went to an all-girl high school and there was this girl Me too. <laughs> you would have loved that you'd have <laughs> loved to go to an all-girl high school <laughs> all right, there was this girl she was like jehovah witness and she wouldn't she couldn't worship in like our like when we were worshiping because we it's an anglican school and we would have to go to like the mosque or whatever and we got not a mosque i don't remember what it's called <laughs> <laughs> we'd have to go there and worship and she couldn't like worship and stuff and my principal you know she didn't graduate though but and i'm like now what, that i'm when i was you younger to a catholic school i went to an anglican school what's that it's similar to a catholic why would a jehovah's witness because <laughs> it's kind of different i don't know how to explain <laughs> it but anyway there's a lot of jehovah witness at that school but she couldn't graduate because she couldn't partake in like the devotion and stuff because like when we're singing and stuff she can't do it that I think something in Jehovah Witness where they're not supposed. I don't know, guys. If you're if there's any Jehovah Witness here, can you comment down below and tell us like why you guys can't really like partake in certain like church activity like at school or stuff. But all I know is that that girl didn't graduate. And if it was no, looking back, there would have been everybody on social media. All these little outlets would have come to her rescue and be well, like, "You see, can't that, discriminate against somebody based on their religion." And that's also why America has like, okay, you got your Catholic schools mm -hmm. and religion is allowed in there, but in most schools, religion and the state are separate. So, if you go to a regular school, they don't do anything with religion, so you're not. Oh. They don't do anything with religion, so you're not, you know, left out. Yeah. So you can... Like me, I used to go to church, because I was in boarding. We'd have to go to church on a Sunday, and I would get really tired at church. And then I had to wake up the next morning really early to go to school. And I just felt like there was times I was just at church, and I was tired. Like, as a child, you know, like, <clears throat> you're forced to do something that you probably don't want to do. And I don't think... That's just my belief. I don't believe I'm going to force my kid to do... Yeah, they could go to church with me when they want, but I'm going to think about what time they went to bed. It's the weekend studying. And I just really felt bad for that girl that didn't graduate because she's a uh, Jehovah Witness. And if you go to church, you're not obligated to stay there the entire time. It's kind of disrespectful leaving like, in the middle. I wait until they're if standing it, and stuff. If, it's, <laughs> if you go at, at 9 in the morning with all the others and it's three in the afternoon oh, before you could get out no it's not disrespectful it's oh yeah you're I would wasting your whole day and <laughs> all right but that guys that brings us to the end of this discussion and for the most part we make it work and we just wanted to Is put that, that out there yeah oh, i'm like the reflecting things for the light if i move a certain way the screen gets darker you just take the light with you, that's it. Ah, you take the light with you, I didn't realize that. <laughs> Let's see if I move. It just stays, it, it gets brighter or what? Yeah. Well, anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. watching. We appreciate Wedding. you. <laughs> we appreciate you guys watching. Please don't forget to share, comment, like this video and stay tuned for next week sunday when we drop another awesome video bye adios
Tell me what's real, tell me what's fake Why is everything about you? Some fine rings that are different things But we found